Hello folks, when I was making this review video, during making the video, I noticed something and uh, I had already, <laughs> I had already gone through the entire video and everything, so I just went ahead and continued with my review and uh, I noticed something and in the video, I had mentioned about how good their customer service is and I am going to prove that. While I was making that video, I had noticed that I indeed do have an issue with one of my quantum boards and that is that these two LEDs down here are bad and I noticed it when I flipped the unit over and I turned it on to show you for the review video I didn't notice it before and so I'm going to show you an, a picture of the email back and forth between myself and Angela with Horticulture Lighting Group and I want to prove to you just how good their customer service is. So what I did is I emailed her back after I made the review video. And I said, hey, I've got a couple of bad LEDs on this, on this quantum board. And I took some pictures and sent it to her. And, uh, and so I had asked her, I, I said, you know, mainly, I think I could probably replace the LEDs by scraping away the coating here and, you know, replacing LEDs but I need to know what LEDs to replace them with and her reply was that when I order the driver and again I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that but when I order the LED driver she at no extra charge is going to give me a brand new quantum board and that is the best most wonderful customer service I think somebody could ask for. So I didn't know this while making that review video. The prior correspondence with her has been absolutely wonderful and this is just the cherry on top. So I'm telling you if, if you are looking for a grow light solution horticulture lighting group all the way. All right, here you go with the rest of the review video. I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone. I would like to do just a real quick review video on an incredible product from an incredible company. So this is a grow light, if you did not know. And I have been using this thing faithfully for the last four years. This thing is absolutely incredible. And I even argued with people on different forums and stuff about lighting and how important lighting is. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, when you're talking about growing, especially to particular things that I grow, you need to have good lighting. That, that's, that's one of the most important things is your lighting. And so this product has worked for me flawlessly for the last four years. It is absolutely an incredible product and this light was made by a company called horticulture lighting group and I will put a link to their website in the description of the video and uh, so the reason why I've got it outside of the tent is uh, after four years my LED driver is starting to fail now that's a no fault of the company you have to understand that not only does this light get used a lot I mean we're talking during the vegetative growth 18 hours a day and then it cuts down to 12 hours a day during bloom um, and flowering and so it gets used a lot and for four years that's a lot uh, electronics doesn't like heat too much okay and so that presents a problem in a grow tent because oftentimes it's above 90 degrees in the grow tent when the lights are on and so obviously it gets hot well after four years my driver my LED driver here is starting to fail and it's not anything that was unexpected or anything like that but it's just uh, it's the nature of the beast uh, my tip is I, I'll give you a tip uh, if you purchase a, a light similar to this uh, don't put the LED driver on top of the heat sink like I did okay not saying that that's the wrong way to do it However, going back to what I stated, heat is the enemy of electronics. And so when you're talking about 
uh, a driver that is already going to be warm just by its own nature and then you put it inside of a tent that's 90 plus degrees you're not helping your situation any so my my big tip of the day when it comes to grow light is if you have a light that's this was a kit i put this together if you have a light like this and you can get the get the led driver outside of the tent you you'll keep it a little bit cooler and it'll last a little bit longer so again this is nothing unexpected this is par for the course and to be honest for four years i'm surprised that that it, it held in there that long my only my only concern about a grow light it isn't going to be the led driver because that's just something that's going to go bad after time it's the leds because to me that is the heart of the unit and so first off uh, this unit i'll give you the the uh, name of this particular unit although i ha i don't see this on their website right now i don't know if they'll be getting this back in stock or not i love it it's a 260w xl qb v2 r spec now let me unwrap that a little bit okay the 260w that's 260 watts so this is a 260 watt unit now the xl is because this unit the heat sink is longer than just the standard uh, 260w that they had this one has essentially an extra space in the center where you could if you wanted uh, you could put another led assembly another quantum board i'll show you that in a second uh, however i don't believe you'd be able to use the same led driver i think you would have to get a bigger led driver for obvious reasons so um, this is a 260 xl 260w xl and i got it because of the size of my tent i wanted those quantum board lights to be spread out a little bit more so we're talking about quantum board and i said the name of it was a 260w xl qb qb stands for quantum board i'll show you those in just a moment the v2 the only thing i can think of that that probably stands for version 2 um, that's the only thing I can think of on that and then the R spec let me go ahead and turn this thing over the R spec has to do with the light spectrum okay and so this is listed again as a as an R spec and what that means is it's got on each quantum board it's got a series of red LEDs and what that is is it, it gives you kind of a happy medium when it comes to the lighting and that way it's um it's not only good for the vegetative growth stage but it's also very good for the bloom stage or the flowering stage okay so if you're only going to use one light you're going to want a light that's going to be somewhere in the happy medium between vegetative and and flowering so that's what the r spec stands for it's it's uh, the spectrum of light that this particular unit puts off now like i said i uh i do have to replace my my uh, led driver it went bad that's why i contacted the company contacted the company and i've been in communication with a wonderful lady named angela and uh, their customer support is awesome i uh, had sent a few emails back and forth they uh looked to see if they had a a, a unit in stock a, a led driver in stock and uh which they do a little bit different brand nonetheless it'll work and uh and as soon as i can come up with the money lord knows when that's going to be <laughs> as soon as i can come up with the money i will replace the led driver so as it is right now there is an adjustment on the bottom side of the led driver for the low side and so i turned it down and as long as i turn it down the light functions it just doesn't go up to full brightness not even close maybe about half brightness is where i can get it about now and that will certainly help i um i have a couple of blurple lights that i have in the tent right now to kind of get me by and uh and so as soon as i can manage to do it i will replace that uh led driver it's going to cost about 60 dollars, which is a drop in the hat in comparison to what it cost for the light overall and i want to make a point that this is one reason why i like these style of lights because again it's electronics 
it's in electronics in heat, it's gonna fail. And so this way, I just have to replace that one unit. That's why I tell you when you, the big solar setups and stuff, don't go out and pay $5,000 for a, for a quote unquote portable solar generator. That's nonsense. Because if one of the components goes out in that, the whole thing's jump, right? Well, the same is true here. Uh, the LED driver went out. All I got to do, replace the LED driver. I don't have to replace the entire light. All of the LEDs still work absolutely fine. I will, uh, I will demonstrate that real quick. Let me turn it on. I got it turned all the way down because if I don't turn it all the way down, holy cow, you don't want to look into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't go up all the way bright anyway. But we'll turn her on real quick here. And as you can see, beautiful. So this is a, uh, an absolutely incredible system here. And, uh, and it's really done me well. Really, really done me well. Let me get that shut back off because it is a little bright. And uh, I can't say any more good about this company. They make a really good product, and um, while they don't have this particular model on their website right now, they do have other models available, and, uh, and again, I couldn't recommend them enough. The company is Horticulture Lighting Group. This thing has been a trooper for four years, and uh, I'm excited for when I can replace the LED driver and be back in business again. So, I just wanted to... Wanted to let you guys know this is an awesome company with an awesome product and uh, if you need a grow light don't hesitate they make an incredible product so anyway i'll leave the link in the description and first comment below i hope you have a wonderful day shalom